All right, guys. I typically do hip hop reactions, but I'm starting to branch out, and um, comedy is one of the things I, I love. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Hard to cancel this. Jay Jordan. Never heard any of his stand up, by the way. Let's let's get into it. Uh, look at us. I love it. I love Bushwick. Sometimes you want to be gay, but also in a factory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I brought that up. Are there gay people here? <laughs> okay, yeah, me neither. Uh, no, 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 I like gay people. I like gay men. I like gay men so much last year I married one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't clap. He's gay, not happy. Now, <laughs> did you know this? If hey, you're man. Cutie, if you're a man and you get married to another man, you spend most of your wedding day introducing gay men who live in New York City to other gay men they have already slept with so, <laughs> most of my wedding day i was stuck saying hey man we know we know how you guys get down man hey i i like this already because i'm i'm a bit i'm anti-cancel culture man i'm anti like just just let it's comedy man I, I mean, this is supposed to be the country of free speech, and we can't cancel comedians of all people. Let's let's keep going with it, man. They have already slept with. So, <laughs> most of my wedding day, I was stuck saying stuff like, "Well, Benjamin, uh, you know Todd, <laughs> Michael, uh, you know Todd, Shane, I know you know Todd. Wait a minute, does everyone know Todd?" And then my husband was like, Jay, do you know Todd? And I had to go, ooh, I do. And then <laughs> I had to remind him. I said, nah, baby, we know Todd. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, no, man. Oh, like I said, we know how you guys get down, man. Come on. Todd, I didn't recognize him standing up. Okay, now that, <laughs> now that joke lets me know who's fun, right? <laughs> you hear what I said? I said my husband. I have a husband. I don't have a partner. I don't have a partner because we're not playing tennis, right? Even though sometimes it sounds like it. Now, I think... <laughs> Sometimes it sounds like that. <laughs> oh, Happy man, West dude. Open. Okay. Y'all are, are, are gross. Come I like on, it, man. Yeah, I got married because guess what? Brooklyn, eventually you have to grow up. You have to grow up and stop. Bro, you guys ever laugh so much your cheeks start hurting? I'm starting to get that right now. Come on, man. Being a whore who has threesomes with married couples and become a married couple who has threesomes with whores. And that's, <laughs> that's where I'm at in my journey. Knock on wood. No, monkeypox. Never caught it. Now, <laughs> you guys remember monkeypox last summer? If you don't, it was a skin disease. A lot of people were like, it's not a gay disease. It just hasn't found the right girl yet. <laughs> It's just very focused on school right now. I never, <laughs> I never caught monkeypox. In fact, I got the monkeypox vaccine early because the health department said, sluts to the front. And <laughs> remember, your boy is married, not boring. So I, <laughs> I got the monkeypox vaccine in the Bronx. It was me and a bunch of other sissies on the four train. <laughs> My God, you should have seen this gathering of sodomites. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> Something out of the pages of Leviticus. I remember <laughs> walking. Oh man, dude, I I've got a um. I know this couple. It's it's a gay couple, and uh, I mean, hey, this this is real talk to me, man. I don't know about you guys, but this this is pretty pretty accurate to the reality I live in. So let's let's go, man. I'm not I'm not gay myself, but I'm friends with everyone, man. Let's keep going. Something out of the pages <laughs> of Leviticus. I remember. <laughs> Walking in that vaccination clinic, I turned a corner. Y'all, it was a who's who of who blew who. I remember <laughs> thinking to myself, I said, oh my God, good to see you again, good to see you again. Man, what's up, Todd? Get up, come on, we <laughs> in his office, stop that. I like y'all, we got everyone here. We got good laughers, we got great laughers, we got Straight men who are uncomfortable, we <laughs> truly have it all. I like it when straight men get uncomfortable during my gay sex jokes. <laughs> <laughs> now they get a taste of how I feel during the gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> Just me being like, hey baby, look at me, breathe, relax, so loosen up. You look like the kind of fella who can take a joke. <laughs> 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 I, I like straight men, do a lot of straight <laughs> outreach usually at your levels, <coughs> right? Uh, <laughs> 
Man, th this this dude is hilarious. I'm gonna have you guys recommend what to react to by this guy. I I've never um never even heard of him, but um yeah, obviously seems like a New York uh New York comic uh, gay dude, man. F funny, funny guy, man. Come on, let's go. Comedy is comedy. It doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is. Let's get into it. Straight man do a lot of straight outreach, usually at urinals, right? Uh... <laughs> That looks heavy, sir. You're gonna throw your back out. Come on. That is clearly a team lift. No, no, no. no. Y'all are good, though. <laughs> laughing, laughing. That's how you know. That's all you gotta do is just sit here and laugh. Doesn't always happen. One time I got on stage, there's a couple of my jokes, got in the front row, got up, grumbled. I didn't know there was gonna be a gay guy here. Left the show. Oh, and in man. My head, I'm thinking, sir, what are you doing? This is New York City. <laughs> there are definitely more outside. <laughs> You need to stick with the evil you know. That's, that's like going to the beach and saying, hey man, I love the water, but why didn't you tell me about all this damn sand? This place is lousy with the stuff. Oh no, my son's playing in it. Now he's gonna grow up to be sand. Because what is sand but gay dirt? <laughs> And by that, I mean highly malleable, slightly irritating, and somehow always ends up in your husband's trunks. <laughs> okay, now ladies, if your man laughed at that joke, I'll see y'all at the beach. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, because I took so many acting classes, I have this fun party trick where I can be straight in tiny increments. Watch, let me find it, let me find it. Sadness, depression, isolation, call of duty. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is out for the season? How does that know? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, all right. Let's keep going with it. Aaron Rodgers <sighs> is out for the season? How does that know? How? How? How do I know? How do I know those things? It's because I used to be strong. My cheeks hurt, man. He Like, he doesn't pause either. He just keeps, he keeps going one after another after another, man. You could you could tell he's obviously a pretty seasoned stand up comic. Like he's been he's either really talented or he's been doing this for a long time, but you can definitely tell he's he's studied um he knows he knows comedy, man. He knows comedy. Let's go. Right, then I got better. There <laughs> There's a vaccine. Did you know that's right? Vaccines don't cause autism, vaccines make your kids gay. And by that, I mean they let your child live long enough to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, thank you, because last week I did that joke for like the only describe as a very pro polio crowd, so. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, between you and me, I'm just happy that joke still has legs. <laughs> oh, we can. Come on, man. This dude, I love it, man. No boundaries, dude. This is true comedy right here. Honestly, between you and me, I'm just happy that joke still has legs. <laughs> <laughs> FDR ain't here. Come on. <laughs> is that the joke that does it? Is that the joke that gets me canceled? That's what everyone is worried about. Everyone now when they do comedy, hey. they get on stage and go, cancel culture, cancel culture. Everyone's scared of cancel culture. Everyone's scared of cancel culture, everyone except for me. Because, do you understand how hard it would be to cancel this? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's right, baby. I'm black. I'm queer. I'm left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of words I can say. Not He just held up his right hand, though. Anyway, I'm not going to split hairs, man. Come on. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of words I can say. Not impossible, but if you want to cancel me, whoo, you better work hard. <laughs> if you want to cancel me, you're going to have to be a biracial lesbian who is also trans and in a wheelchair. <laughs> and, even then, <laughs> and even then, I'm going to be like, yeah, but how much money do your parents make? <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to say, I'm adopted. And I get to go, okay, you win this round, little Miss High Heels. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on, time out. I want y'all to know something. That was me rolling her. <laughs> into affordable housing yeah. <laughs> with a ramp, not Come off on, a cliff, man. okay? I'm not a monster, I have rules. I will never make fun of anyone who currently has it worse than me politically or socially, so per that logic, I don't make fun of lesbians because lesbians can fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been kicked by a pair of Doc Martens, you make that mistake once. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, man, come on. It's a heavy shoe. I love lesbians. I love the way they dress. Lesbians dress so good, gay guys started dressing like lesbians. <laughs> you understand? Lesbian wears a shirt. Gay guy sees lesbian wearing the shirt. Gay guy starts wearing huh. that shirt. Okay, gay guy wears a shirt. Straight guy sees gay guy wearing the shirt. Straight guy starts wearing that shirt. Straight guy dies in the shirt. <laughs> His family donates the shirt to a thrift shop where lesbian finds the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I don't make fun of lesbians. I don't make fun of non-binary people because I don't like it when baristas spit in my coffee. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. We all go to coffee shops, man. Come on. <laughs> I don't make them, but they slap. We see it, man. Come on, dude. Ask them's the rules, okay? <laughs> Checking for septum piercings. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big one. This is a big one. I don't make fun of trans women because I'm not that famous of a black comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Oh, oh, relax. I Shout out to Dave Chappelle, man. <laughs> Come on. I get it. But America decided to be extra transphobic this year. What? People I love, people I respect, people like Kid Rock decided to say things mean about trans people. You guys remember a couple months ago, Kid Rock was like, I'm going to take this gun and shoot these beer cans as a form of protest. And in my heart, I was like, Bob, you was going to do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know why he was mad, he got mad at Bud Light. Bud Light gave one trans TikToker her own specialized can of Bud Light, and everyone lost their minds. And Dylan Mulvaney. Because drinks here, let me just say this. Bud Light cannot make you trans. Bud Light cannot make you trans. The only thing Bud Light can make you is buy in college a couple of times, right? That's, just, <laughs> that's all that drink has ever done is bring boys together. Now, I mean... <laughs> Me personally, I don't drink Bud Light. I don't drink Bud Light not because it's too gay. I don't drink Bud Light because it's not gay enough. No, yeah. <laughs> you know what I drink instead? Cum. Now that. No, man. Come on, bro. I didn't even see it coming, man. I thought he was going to go with like a margarita or something. Oh, hang on. Hang on, bro. Hang on. <sighs> all right, all right. Not gay enough. <laughs> You know what I drink instead? Cum. Now that... <laughs> Straight from the tap. Now that... Oh, man. I could do a keg stand if I had to. Now that... One thing about cum, pretty gay drink. <laughs> they got mad about stuff that was already gay. They're like, I can't believe Target is getting gay. Getting? Get Target? You're mad that the store with the logo is a booty hole? Has <laughs> gay stuff on the inside? Hey, man. <laughs> I know openly transphobic people. I don't like it. I know a guy, he saw a trans woman on the street. He said, man, I don't know why they got to wear a dress. I said, dog, you're wearing an oversized NBA jersey. Nigga, you wearing a dress. <laughs> he said, no, nah, I can tell from... Man... <laughs> All right, I'm not even going to say anything. Let's, let's <laughs> My NBA jersey. Nigga, you wearing a dress. <laughs> he said, no, nah, I can tell from their hands. I was like, I can tell from your hands. You were never going to be power forward. What are you talking about? <laughs> At least that lady can palm a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man. I have to talk about this stuff because I have to come out all the time. I have to come out to strangers like y'all. I have to come out to people in my life. I have to come out to my barber. My barber cut my hair, did some stand-up on TV. He saw it. I go back to him. I'm like, oh, man, I'm not even out to him. Let me just say, hey, man, thank you so much for the haircut, and thank you for being okay with having queer clients. He stopped me right there. He said, hey, man, I'm a barber. A head is a head. And I said, so you do get it. And I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> probably should be in therapy. <laughs> I'm not in therapy. <laughs> Don't go to therapy. You know what I do instead? I listen to Drake. Now, I don't listen to Drake because he's good. I listen to Drake because when I listen to his music, I'm like, ooh, I'm not that fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. Have you ever heard one of his lyrics? They're two different Drakes. They're two different Drakes in every lyric. Every Drake. Yeah. Lyric. Man, I hope that bitch likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I, I have to say, as someone who listens to a lot of hip-hop, yeah, yeah, man, he gets it. All right, all right. Okay, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, thank you. Bitch, 
likes me. <laughs> That's funny, man. Every time he gets to the end of a song, he's just insulting the girl he was talking about for the first half of that song. At the end of every song, he's like, I hope you die. I hope you get a UTI. Because you don't know how to why I I I. <laughs> All right, some people know. <laughs> Front to back. That's a good album title, too. Uh, <laughs> I've been Jay Jordan. Y'all have been great. Give it up for your host. Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my first uh, comedy reaction. I might I might do more of Jay Jordan. That's the first uh, comedy reaction I've done. But, uh, hey, man, this, this whole cancel culture is not my thing. Um, you know, it, it's it's... It's a shame to see people get shut down for, you know, oh, so-and-so said something 20 years ago. It's like, man, I'm 27, dude. I, I had Facebook at the age of 14. Like, I, I can only imagine some of the comments I left. Like, there's a whole, it's not the same thing as a, as a comedy bit. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely, um, we just got to relax, people. We got to relax. And, um, yeah, I'm impressed. Jay Jordan, okay. I may have to check out more of his stuff. You guys let me know um, what's good to react to by him, and I'll do my best to get to it in a timely manner. Take care.